Yo, welcome to 90 Second Church, where I talk for 120 seconds. <laughs> hey, if you have a moment, go ahead and subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Facebook so that you know whenever we put something out. We are in a series called Not Normal, longing for... And it's all about how Christmas, the coming of Jesus, how it all meets our heart's innermost desires. Today, we're talking about longing for purpose. We're in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 through 7. Let's read this. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. On Tuesday, Kendall talked about how we will have a role to play in the coming kingdom. Today, I want to talk about how we don't have to wait until then to start. <laughs> Ephesians 1 verse 7 says that we have been redeemed. But then chapter 4 verse 30 says that we have not yet been fully redeemed. So what's the deal? Is, is the kingdom now because we've been redeemed? Or is the kingdom later because we've not yet been fully redeemed? I tricked you. The, the, the answer is yes. <laughs> Jesus invites us to participate in the kingdom that is coming later by participating in the kingdom right now. We can start living like Jesus even if we're not good at it yet. It's so tempting to think that we're just supposed to wait until we die and then we'll be made new. But that's not how it works. God invites us to learn as a process. And, and, and here's something else. When all things are made new, we're still going to be learning. You know, we, we will no longer be shackled by sin, absolutely, but our God is infinite. And so there's always something new to learn that we can emulate. So the learning process starts right now and goes into eternity. So what are you waiting for? Let's get learning. <laughs>